If I'm going to be honest, Valhalla is one of the best adventure visual novels that I've played to date. Its simplistic way of storytelling centered around creating alcoholic beverages set the stage for one of the most endearing titles of the genre. This is perhaps why I was so eager to get my hands on the game's sequel, Nirvana, which takes place in a new setting with new characters. After playing through the demo, the game hits similar beats to its predecessor but shows a completely different side of the world with all new mechanics centered around, you guessed it, making alcoholic drinks. Nirvana is set on an artificial island known as St. Alicia. The island is full of the wealthiest citizens who come there to be free of their rich and successful lives. It's all surface level though as you come to find out after assuming the role of Sam, a bartender at the Nirvana bar. Interacting with patrons reveals truths about the people's daily lives and their struggles that they face. However, this is a complete parallel to the issues that were brought up in Valhalla. These citizens aren't struggling to pay rent or answering to a boss. Now, these people are the boss. It makes for some new topics that get brought up in conversation that just wouldn't fit in the first game. The stories feel new and the characters are just as interesting. Sure, they might seem like they have it all figured out considering their status, but after talking to them, you see the larger things that impact their lives. To get the characters talking, players will need to make drinks. Nirvana has new drinks to make and different ways to make them. However, this time around, players have more control over what they serve the patrons. While this might create more room for error, it does make situations more interesting to watch. There were times when I was given an exact drink to make, but the customers also just gave their preferences. This is a mechanic that I'd definitely like to explore more of, since Valhalla made it a huge part of the game's overall storytelling, and this title is shaping up to do the same. I enjoyed my time with Nirvana, and I really look forward to seeing more of this new setting. However, there is another character in the game, Leon, a gangster, who I didn't get to play as, and will surely offer a different perspective. As it is now, I'm enjoying the differences found in these new patrons and can't wait to continue my career in making drinks for waifus and husbandos. Nirvana is coming to PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC in 2020.